To properly track the operation of Spring OAuth 2, I created a filter that logs all incoming requests to the screen. This way, you can easily track the operation and communication between the applications in a simple way. This filter is useful in different types of Spring Boot applications. In this video, we only have one new class to discuss. The log filter class extends the once per request filter with the component and order annotations. The class overrides one method. Do filter internal. We use the content caching request wrapper and content caching response wrapper the store request and response traffic to display it at the end of our filter. The first line is the address port and path of the request. Then we list all the headers of the request. Then all the parameters of the request. And finally all the attributes of the request. Then we can do a filter chain do filter to let all other filters in the filter chain do their work. After all filters are processed we come back to log the additional info. Now we can log the request body and the response body. And finally we log the response headers. At the bottom we have a little private method get string value to convert the byte array to a string. We can now start our project and look at the result of our log filter. In this console screen, we see all the logs from the Spring Authorization Server. When we start the Spring Authorization Server we see the default logs. When we start the Spring Resource Server we see our log filter in action. Every time the Spring Resource Server starts it makes two requests to the Spring Authorization Server. Now we can start the Spring OAuth 2 client also now there is a request from the client to the Authorization Server. The next step is to open localhost 8080 in a browser window and log in with the username and password. It is very interesting to quietly go through the logs and see which requests are made when logging in. In this video we used the filter only in the Spring Authorization Server, but you can also use it in the Spring Resource Server and the Spring OAuth 2 client. This is the end of this video. Thanks for staying tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.